Hey guys, once again, Marcus speaking. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna explain you how our new online search works. So, I got project set up here and I'm already connected to it. So this is my first map comp. And the online search you find right underneath the toolbar. There we go. First, this icon here, reverse geocodes the current view. So clicking this will just reveal the feature that you're looking at in your map comp. So that's Germany here. But we might search a city. In this list, you can see the results of our online search. So we have Leipzig here. And right beneath, you can see some quick action buttons, which are super useful. Um, the current view icon right here will center our current view to Leipzig. Um, this actually also happens if I click just the name here, but then our search box will disappear. The next thing, we can select the label here and quickly label Leipzig. There we go. With this little pen icon, you can draw actually the feature. Notice that in front of the name, you see this little icon. So this means this feature that has been found in the OpenStreetMap database is just a point geometry. If you want to have a polygon or a line, you should look for this icon. This means it is a OSM way or relation, but don't think that much about these terms. You just need to know that that's the point. If you want to really draw like city borders or stuff, look for this icon. And we're lucky we have one of those here. So. Let's select the style and draw Leipzig. I'm gonna put this underneath our label here. Right. Um, the next two buttons are pretty similar. Um, let me begin with the download to browser. So if you click this, the feature is downloaded to our browser here. The other one, we'll just add it to our favorites. So those are gonna be saved as you close GeoLayers and reopen them, whereas uh, this one is just temporarily here. What you can do with those features, so all those functions down here, is explained in a separate tutorial. But let me show you that this search is so much more powerful. Let's create a quick animation. So I click the keyframe button, and you see that our map is keyframed right here, and I go a bit ahead, and you can, of course, search for like POIs or, or certain buildings. So I want to find Leipzig's Opera House. I can center my view and you notice that keyframes are set right here. And we can, of course, draw the building and label it. How cool is that? But not only this. I'm going to close this, create a keyframe go some time before and I'm gonna center my map to Germany and you can also search for like rivers there we go I get a cool water style here so I can draw my river and I also have a cool label for it so the new search in GeoLayers 2 enables you to quickly highlight stuff and animate parts of your map with ease. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.